Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about how you can optimize your one-on-one -on -one meetings inside Microsoft Teams using TeamFlect. But why am I focusing on the one-on-one -on specifically? Well, they are very important because of a couple of reasons. Number one is they foster a culture of continuous feedback between managers and their direct reports. And number two is they are just simply good for the positive relationship between a manager and their direct report. Frequent one-on-ones help foster and build that relationship. So how can you optimize your one-on-one -on -one meetings? Well, there are four simple steps that you can follow. Number one is setting the right meeting cadence, the right meeting frequency, and that's gonna change for every employee. Number two is preparing for the meeting in advance. Number three, you should be curious and ask the right questions. And number four, of course, is using the right meeting tools. And speaking of the right meeting tools, let's talk about how TeamFlect can help you optimize your one-on-one -on -one meetings inside Microsoft Teams. As always, we're inside my TeamFlect dashboard. Now, I'm gonna go to my people and find one of my direct reports, Adele Vance. Now, this is someone I have lots of frequent one-on-one -on -one meetings with. So, let's click here. So, the 23rd of June, that's an upcoming one-on-one -on -one meeting. And I can see previous one-on-one -on -one meetings over there as well. Now, I'm gonna go into Adele's profile and this place is all sorts of helpful. And I have information about Adele, Adele's goals, but today we're concerned about one-on-one -on -one meetings. And right here, if I click show more, I can see all my previous one-on-one -on -one meetings with her. And this is the upcoming meeting and I'm clicking prepare, because remember, preparing for the meeting is one of the criteria. And right here are the true meat and bones of the TeamFlect meetings module, the meeting agenda. As you can see, I can write talking points of my own or pick a talking point from a list of talking point suggestions. If you skip over a talking point in a meeting, they will show up in the talking point suggestions of the next meeting. And if you click here, you can lock that talking point in or make that talking point recur. There are other features in the meeting agenda. For example, I can click right here to add an attachment to that meeting. I can view tasks right here or create a new task specifically for this meeting. And I can do the same thing for feedback and recognition. And right here, I can take some shared meeting notes and private meeting notes. So let's look to the left and right here, I have some tips and resources, they're always helpful. And if I wanna view the agendas from previous meetings, all I have to do is click that meeting. And now that I'm inside last week's meeting agenda, I can see the talking points and tasks from that one. But on the right, I can also see Adele's goals, tasks, her latest review, and the latest survey she filled out. Now, let's go back into the previous meeting and let me show you how TeamFlect's meeting agendas look inside ongoing meetings. Because these agendas aren't just for preparing for the meeting, but you can actually access them as the meeting is going on. So all I have to do to access these meeting agendas inside ongoing meetings is I have to click apps, find TeamFlect. If you can't see it here, just search for it and click save. And right here, very conveniently on the right is my meeting agenda, the one that we just worked on. Uh, you can add some talking points or as you go through them, you can check them or go into goals. And you can see all the goals of people inside the meeting. You can filter filter through them. And you can even you can even view them according to their status, right? You can only see the at risk goals if you click at risk or the on track ones. It is all very straightforward. It doesn't take a lot to navigate the meeting agenda. You can even click on one of those goals and update it, comment on it, upload files inside it as the meeting is going on. See, all the TeamFlick modules are connected to each other and they all serve to help you have the best meetings possible. Now, I'm leaving the meeting and once I'm done with the meeting, I can click right here to send a meeting summary to all the parties involved with the meeting. I can click right here and just send it. And if I click here, I can share the meeting link with anyone. But that is essentially how you can use TeamFlect to optimize your one-on-one -on -one meetings 
inside Microsoft Teams. That about wraps it up for this video. We absolutely love bringing you these use case scenario videos because we want to help you make the most of our product. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the support staff. Have a great one. Teamflect. Build teams that deliver.